former Congress Minister M. B. Patil slapped a man who had allegedly asked Patil what developmental work he had done for his village. The incident took place on Saturday in M. B. Patil's Babaleshwar constituency, and the video is now going viral on social media. Now, the Karnataka BJP has slammed the Congress Party and has said that Gundaism is in the DNA of Congress. So, we have this breaking news coming in. Former Congress Minister M. B. Patil slapped a man who had allegedly asked Patil what developmental work he had done for his village. CNN News 18's Ritu is joining us. Ritu, can you give us more details about this incident that took place in Babaleshwar? Yes, so as you said, this whole incident uh, unfolded on a Saturday evening. So remember, Rahul Gandhi's preparations were all going on in a full swing that he was uh, visiting Karnataka there again for a two days. So yesterday is that he went back. But yes, of course, that he was in a Vijayapura district itself for a, a road show and moreover to give support to MB Patil as well because in the Vijayapura, especially Bableshpura from where uh, MB Patil is a candidate once again has a dominant numbers of uh, uh, Lingayat. So, of course, while, you know, all these preparations were going on in a full swing in, uh, in the pole-bound Karnataka, on the uh, other hand, you see this whole incident unfolded where MB Patil went on to allegedly slap this man who had come forward to ask that what kind of work has exactly been done from uh, him in his village. There's no development at all. There are poor infrastructure and the uh, other uh, poor quality of work as well. So while he was alleging that, you can see MB Patel in the visuals, how he went on to slap this man and however now the Karnataka BJP has also tweeted about this whole incident and have called uh, it a gundaism and that which is in the DNA of the Congress for uh, you know, with an incident coming into the light where MB Patil, uh, the senior leader of the Congress, can be seen physically, uh, in fact, alleg allegedly assaulting a man for uh, uh, sharing his uh, grievances there again. But, uh, you know, this is an unfortunate incident, of course, that has come to light because the people of the constituencies would, of course, uh, walk up to their uh, public representatives to speak about their grievances. But this kind of an attitude of the uh, former Congress uh, minister, in fact, hasn't gone down well with the locals. All right, Ritu, thank you for getting us all those details. We're slipping into a very short break right now, but we'll be right back with more stories on the other side. Stay tuned.